Hi, preschool. Happy Thursday. Today we are doing a read aloud with Miss Maggie. And the book we're going to read today is Llama Llama Mess Mess Mess. Who remembers what other book we read with this character, Llama Llama, in it? Ooh, it was Llama Llama Red Pajamas, remember? He was yelling for his mom because he wanted her to come up to bed, but he had to be patient for her. Yes. So now we're going to read another book with Llama Llama in it. The author of this book and the illustrator is Anne Dooney. Who can tell me what does the author do again? Does the author write the book or draw the pictures? The author writes the book, very good. And now the illustrator then does, draws the pictures. Great job, preschool. Okay, so now what we're looking for today is we're talking about events. Does anyone know what events means? Events is like what happens in the book, yeah. So we're gonna be listening for a lot of different events that are happening while Miss Maggie is reading this book, okay? What I want you guys to keep on listening is what happens in the beginning of the book and then what's gonna happen at the end of the book, okay? Because after Miss Maggie's done reading, we're gonna talk about it as a class, what happened in the beginning. And you could talk about it with your moms and dads at home, okay? All right, I'm gonna get started and talking about this book. Llama Llama in his room, cars and trunks go honk and zoom. Racing under sheets and chairs, Mama Llama calls upstairs. And there's him playing with his cars in his messy room. Time to pick up all your toys. Why is mama making noise? Mama says it's cleaning day. Llama only wants to play. Mama says to make the bed. Llama Llama shakes his head. We all have a job to do, even little llamas too. And there's his mama telling him he has to do his job. Do any of you have jobs at home that you have to do? Especially since you're spending so much time at home now. That's great that you guys are helping out at home. What if mama never cleaned? Imagine that, what would that mean? If mama didn't dust her mop, she'd toss the rags and off she'd hop. She'd take the clothes all clean to wear and throw them up into the air. Uh-oh, Mama's making a mess. No doing laundry anymore, just drop the towels up on the floor. She'd pull the sheets right off the beds and wear the blankets on her head. She'd leave the pots and plans and paints plates and dance around on roller skates. Then zoom into the living room to make a fort with mops and brooms. She'd have herself some crunchy snacks and throw the bags behind her back. Crumbs and clothes and peanut shells. What's this thing? What's that smell? Messy counters, dirty drawers. Where is mama? Where's the floor? Everything's in disarray. Llama has no place to play. Clutter, chaos, and distress. No more llama. Mess, mess, mess. Grown-ups, llamas clean, that's true, but little ones can pick up too. Llama, llama nods his head, maybe we should clean instead. Llama, llama picks up the blocks, puts them all into his box. Ooh, 
books go back up on the shelf. Llama puts them there himself. Are there things beneath the bed? Check and see. Lift up the spread. Look what Llama Llama's got. Each thing has its special spot. Llama pulls the sheets up tight. Mama tucks the quilt just right. Lots of space to play with Mama. Guess who's proud of Llama Llama? The end. Great job, preschool. Okay, now, who can remember what were the two things we were supposed to be looking and thinking about while we were reading today? What happened in the beginning and what happened in the end? Great job, preschool. So now with your moms and dads, I want you guys to talk. What happened in the beginning of this book and then what happened at the end of this book? And if you can't remember, you could always watch this video again to listen to the beginning and listen to the end so you guys can remember. And you guys could listen to this video as much as you want. And then maybe soon you guys could read it with me. Then when we come back to school, we could read it all together because we'll all know the story so well. Okay, preschool. Another great thing I want you guys to take away from this. You saw what happened when nobody cleaned up. The house was a mess, right? And I know at school, we always clean up everywhere. And I just want to make sure at home, while you're playing and you're having lots of fun at home, you are cleaning up and helping your moms and dads out a lot, okay? Because I know it's very stressful right now, but we can keep clean and make it very fun, okay? I will see you all. And please send me pictures or videos of you guys watching or listening to the book and answer my question. What happened in the beginning? What happened in the end? Let me know. All right, bye preschool. See you tomorrow for our fun science activity. Can't wait.